by Bob Wayne Auto World. The House has adopted a resolution rebuking President Barack Obama for dispatching U.S. military forces against Libya without congressional approval. The vote was 268 to 145. The White House objected, saying the measure was unnecessary and unhelpful. The measure by Speaker John Boehner says the president has failed to provide a compelling rationale for the nearly three-month-old operation to aid rebels battling Muammar Gaddafi's forces. Democrats and Republicans complained that Obama ignored Congress's constitutional authority to declare war. And joining us now to discuss the Libya resolution is Republican Congressman Bob Goodlatte, representing Virginia's 6th District. Thanks for joining us. Good evening, Bob. Now, you voted in favor uh, of the resolution. Why? I voted in favor of this because I have been concerned from the outset of this engagement that the president has not been in compliance with the War Powers Act. And the you're... president's commander-in-chief responsibilities and the Congress's uh, responsibility for a declaration of war, he uh, entered this engagement without any threat to the United States, without any threat to interests of the United States, and the War Powers Act requires a finding of one of those things before he did so. Uh, that's not been done. So uh, we've been pushing for action for quite a while, and we're pleased that the House took this vote today to send the president a message that, unlike President Bush, who in both Iraq and Afghanistan sought congressional approval, and President Clinton sought congressional approval to go into the Balkans, and uh, first President Bush sought approval uh, for the first Gulf War, President Obama decided to go this one alone. We think that's a tragic mistake, uh, and we've uh, submitted to him uh, our request for a long series of questions for him to answer regarding uh, not only why he took the action and his basis for the action, but also what's going on. Uh, we have found that uh, the military operations and the communication from the White House to the Congress have not been transparent at all, and this is not healthy for a democracy to have the executive branch taking an action like this without consulting and getting the approval of uh, the Congress. Now, this is a non-binding measure, so is there really anything uh, to compel the president to respond within 14 days and answer your questions? Sure. Well, uh, two things. One, uh, I think the next step would be that if he doesn't voluntarily release the information, the Congress would consider issuing subpoenas. Uh, and there is also the power of the purse. The Constitution is very clear that the Congress... Uh, raises armies and navies, therefore funds uh, the military operations, and we would have to consider whether we could take steps to cut off the funding. The uh, president has transferred funding from one part of the defense operations to another in order to fund this activity. Again, he should have done so with the approval of the Congress, not simply unilaterally. So, so beginning hypothetically, you're saying even if he has the power which the War Powers Act of 1973 gives him uh, to, as a legal basis to conduct military activities, you're saying there's no qualification within what he did in Libya that qualifies under that initial 60-day period? That's correct, that there were uh, no uh, showings that the United States was threatened by the civil war going on in Libya, nor were American interests threatened. Couldn't, uh, couldn't, those, those allow the president to act without the approval of Congress for 60 days. But couldn't he, uh, Congressman, couldn't he argue that American interests were threatened in the fact that I think he said we didn't want to have a bloodbath there, so it's in our interest to intervene, is kind of what he said. I think that uh, most people would not find that. That, that, would, that would give the president the authority to intervene in any matter anywhere in the world without congressional approval and would totally nullify the meaning of the article of the Constitution that gives Congress the power to declare war. We recognize that there are emergency situations, situations where the president needs to act promptly in the interest of the United States that uh, doesn't allow for time for Congress to meet and declare war or to pass a resolution approving his activities. So he gets 60 days uh, if he can show that uh, one of those conditions existed. Most people, I think, would argue that those conditions did not exist, therefore the president should not have acted without consulting Congress. And after all, he got the approval of the United Nations, he got the approval of NATO, he even got the approval of the Arab League, but didn't see fit to get the approval okay. of the uh, legislative body of the American people. Okay. All right, Republican Congressman Bob Gillette, representing Virginia's 6th District, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Bob. Aubrey?